All right, the challenge is, and I'll put a little picture up here in the corner of what I started with. I got a new quad bike rack. I want to hang it on the wall right here instead of just having it sit on the floor. I'm getting rid of my Thule platform rack. I just simply don't like it. That's not sturdy. Uh, quad is a much better rack. So what I'm going to do is I, instead of taking a, trying to find a 2x12 that I can put in here or stack them, I just took a bunch of the 2x4s, 36 inches that I already had cut, screwed them into the studs, and then I'll put this uh, Kowat sells their own. I happened to buy this one on Amazon because my dealer didn't have the Kowat wall mount in stock. So this mounts in here. This gold part is going to come out. That's in case you have an inch and a quarter receiver or hitch bike rack. Um, so I'll take that out and then that'll get mounted on the wall. And then I may have to do some rearranging because this previous configuration is for multiple bike chargers. Now I only need one bike charger, so I may take those down, move the helmets over here, move this bike rack, bike which is on a steady rack, uh, which is fantastic because it swings right out of the way. But I have to, may have to move this bike rack over to here because the, the bike rack, yeah, this bike rack, uh, steady rack, may need to move over to here to make lots of room for the Kuat bike rack that's going to go here. So we'll see what happens. All right, this is for if you have an inch and a quarter receiver, it's just a set screw that I've already removed. Take it out, now you just take this, set it up on top. Now you just got the two inch receiver for the bike rack to go right, directly into. It's safe and secure. There's four big lag bolts that go into those two by fours. Yes, they go through a little bit, but I'm not concerned. We're only hanging about 50, uh, 90 pounds on that. The bike rack itself, I believe, is 55, and the pivot arm is 44. So we'll find out, though, if it collapses, but for right now, I think that'll work. All right, I'm all done uh, getting this Kuat uh, storage system set up here. You saw before, I mounted the storage receiver hitch on the wall. It's plenty sturdy. Got the pivot arms in there, and I've got that tightened in so it doesn't wiggle. The bike rack itself, I just put into the other receiver hitch and the pivot arm. Didn't tighten that. You tighten that down here with a great big uh, Allen wrench that, they, that Kuat gives you. They give you everything. I love Kuat now. They're my favorite of anything. They've thought of everything. They give you everything that you need to do this. In this bag, I keep, uh, Kuat gives you two locking pins. One to lock the pivot arm into the receiver hitch on the truck. And I've got another lock that will go down in here that connects the bike rack to the pivot arm so everything's locked together. I keep that and the keys in here all in one place so I don't lose those. Plus I've got backups uh, inside the house. A quick overview, I just did a lot of cleaning up here uh, this morning actually. I repurposed a old shoe organizer that I no longer need in one of the rooms in the house. So that's got uh, some odds and end fittings in here, tools that I use, some of them laying down on the bench or up here. I've got metric uh, and regular uh, T-bars T in there. Old license plates. I've got some bike parts underneath here, wetsuits, that type of stuff. Then in the bike section, I see got the uh, quad bike rack in the blue box, the things for my enclosed trailer when traveling. This is where I have my uh, charger for my Trek Marlin Plus 8 that I love. I'm going to be doing a lot more detailed review of that. Up here I've got the traveling covers. I've got rain covers for both the motor and the handlebars up here. My Trek Marlin is on a steady rack. Bike rack, best in, another great invention. Um, I'm not, I don't have to worry about space because my truck F-150 will not fit in my garage. But if you are tight for space, this will lay flat up against the side of your garage. Got my different bike helmets. I got my Senna radio connected ones. Great for communication if you're traveling with someone. I thought it was a gimmick. Great concept. Another bike helmet. And once I find a bike helmet that's comfortable, I keep it. I've always had the biggest head on the football team. Right now, I just currently have my hydration bags here so they can dry out. Uh, my cross-country skis, walking poles, uh, snowshoes hanging there. 
I bought this storage bin the other day for something else. It didn't fit. So now it has some bike accessories in there. I've got my Arkell bags, my panniers hanging up here on the wall. So depending on how much stuff I'm carrying, I could go with the bigger bags that also convert to backpacks. Never used it, but they do that. And a smaller bag. And we've got the Thule platform rack that was placed by the Kuat rack. Benefit of the Thule rack is it's very lightweight. The challenge is that when they, I swear that I had bought this four or five years ago and then sold it when I didn't have two wheel bikes set anymore. But instead of having a dedicated two inch receiver like Kuat has, it has a one and a quarter inch receiver with an adapter. And in my opinion, it's just not tight. Kuat, in their intelligence, offer a complete two inch uh, hitch on their bike rack or a one and a quarter inch dedicated, much tighter. So this is being sold. What's great about this, it does move around on wheels much lighter. Then I've got all my tools in here and they're all foamed. So I know if something's missing, just makes it easier. It's part of lean management. Everything's got its place, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, this is Thor. Big hammer, big hammer. So that's it. Quick uh, review of getting the Kawat bike rack, a place to get it off the ground. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.